Hello, Chimpanzee Volunteers. Welcome to another tutorial to help you participate in the Zooniverse Chimpanzee Project. After all of the chimps have been matched and named at a site, before we close it, we need to make sure that we haven't accidentally given the same chimp two different names. Basically, we do a head count and make sure that no one is counted twice. This video explains how you, as a volunteer, can participate in this critical process. Before we start, I want to mention that this tutorial assumes that you've already watched the other tutorials in the series. It assumes you know how to use the talk boards and know how to participate in the chimp matching process, and that you know how to use sites known in perspective lists. These tutorials are available in the video tutorials resource list which is located in the Guides and List folder in the main Chimpanzee Talk Board. And one other thing, I want to explain what a team call is. I'll be using this term a lot. Team call members are volunteers who receive emails from the site moderator when a chimp matching discussion needs more input. A list of these team members is maintained in a post pinned at the top of the chat talk board. When a site first opens, the moderator will ask if anyone wants to be added to or removed from the team call list. Anyone can be on the team. All you need to do is post and let us know you want the notifications. Just remember, you can still participate in the chimpanzee match discussions without being on the team call list. Okay, we're going to use the Glowing Cloud site during this tutorial. Locate the Read Me First message pinned at the top of the main talk board. Scroll down and locate the links to the known and prospective chimp lists. These are the KNPs. Let's use the male KNP list. The named chimps are always listed at the top in the order they were matched. Anytime I'm comparing chimps, I find it easiest to use two browser windows, each pointing to the same KMP list. The first thing we need to do is go through the list of all the named chimps and compare each chimp one by one to each of the other named chimps. Let's start with Pierre in the left browser. He's at the top of the known males list, which means that he's a named chimp. In the right browser, I'm going to click through each of the named chimps. Do any two look alike? Is it possible that they are the same chimp? We need to make sure that we've not given the same chimp two different names. Nope. Face is too long. Nope. Don't think so. Hmm. Jury looks a little like Pierre. He might be worth taking a closer look at. I won't do that here, but let's assume you think this pair of name chimps match each other and may actually be the same individual. What do you do? First, Check if there might already be a discussion about these two chimps being the same chimp. If you find a discussion, go through it and see what others have said about the potential match. If you don't find a previous discussion, then start a new discussion and list your reasons for thinking that these two chimps might be the same chimp. If the group agrees that they are the same chimp, the moderator will merge the two chimps' names. For instance, this chimp would be renamed Pierre Jury. So you'd make this kind of comparison for each of the named chimps, comparing them to each other one by one. This eliminates all of the named chimps who are the same chimp and avoids counting them twice. Now 
Next, we tackle all of the chimps that we only saw one time. These are the chimps that were assigned temp IDs and are considered prospective chimps. Up until now, we were worried about counting a single chimp twice in our head count. Now we want to see if we can add any more chimps to our total head count. We do this by trying to determine if any of our known and prospective chimps are definitely not a match to anyone we have already counted. In other words, are they unique or not? To do this, we need to ask three questions. Question one asks if any prospective chimps match any of the named chimps. When the moderator closed the site to matching, she checked all of the discussions to see if any prospective chimp had been proposed as a match to a named chimp. If anyone had proposed such a match, then that prospective chimp is considered not unique. Anytime there's any chance that two chimps might be the same chimp, we have to make sure we don't count them twice. So, not unique. Next, the site moderator checks the discussions and looks for chimps with temp IDs that have never been proposed as a match to any other chimp. The moderator will make a team call for each of these chimps. Now it's your turn. You'll vote on each chimp. It's important that you review the videos and the tag groups and not base your vote only using the collages. Could that prospective chimp be a match to any of the named chimps? Here's an example. Let's say you've been asked to respond to a team call concerning GC Mail 06. He's been proposed to GC Mail 20, but not to any named chimp. Let's get our browser windows back up. We'll put GC Mail 06 in the left browser and the named chimps in the right browser. I'm going to click through each of the named chimps. If you think that the prospective chimp might match one of the named chimps, then you would vote not unique and indicate which chimp you believe it matches. You don't have to be sure, and this doesn't have to be a match discussion. But if you think we might be doing an incorrect headcount if we call this chimp unique, then we must consider the chimp not unique. However, if you think there is no way this prospective chimp could match any of the named chimps, then you would vote unique. The moderator will tally the votes from the team call. If even one person votes not unique, then that chimp will be considered not unique. If there are only unique votes, then that chimp will be considered unique. That means that we can add this chimp to the site's headcount. Yay! Now, the site moderator checks to see if a chimp with a temp ID has been proposed as a match to another chimp with a temp ID. Let's call these chimp1 and chimp2 for now. The moderator picks the chimp with a better face view. Let's say it's chimp1. The moderator asks the team if you think that chimp could be a match to any of the named chimps. If you don't think that the chimp could match any of the named chimps, you'll vote unique. And if everyone else also votes unique, then this chimp is declared unique and is added to the site's headcount. In this case, chimp 2 is considered a possible match to chimp 1 and we don't discuss Chimp 2 any further. However, if you think Chimp 1 might match one of the named chimps, you'll vote not unique and propose which chimp you think he might match. You don't have to be sure, and this doesn't have to be a match discussion. We'll consider Chimp 1 not unique, and then discuss Chimp 2 as possibly being unique instead. 
Now all we have left on the list are chimps with temp IDs that we have called unique. But we need to make sure that none of these match each other. The site moderator will check this smaller list again and make a team call for any cases where there might be a match. We're done! Now we have a list of chimps that represents the minimum number of chimps at the site. This is our headcount.